Hi guys. So today I want to talk to you about something known as the price elasticity of demand. Now this comes up in things like your PM paper and your APM paper and I find that it's a concept that's actually quite easy and if you apply it to realistic examples you'll understand it much better. So first things first, how do we calculate it? It is the percentage change in demand divided by the percentage change in price. What does that mean? You have to take the change in demand and divide by the original demand, multiply by 100% and that's the percentage change in demand. The same thing applies to the price part. So percentage change in demand divided by percentage change in price, this is the price elasticity of demand. If this figure is one or more than one, it means that demand is elastic. If it is less than one, it means that it is inelastic. Now let us come to what elastic and what inelastic means. Inelastic means that if there is a change in price, whether it moves up or whether it moves down, if it moves up, we expect demand to fall. And if it moves down, we expect demand to rise. Well, if this figure is less than one, and if it is inelastic, the change in price is not going to affect the demand. How is this possible? What type of commodity is like this? Now, cigarettes, don't smoke. But cigarettes, people are usually addicted to them. So whether the price of a cigarette increases because they are addicted to them, they are going to buy them anyways, and they are going to smoke anyways. Point. It is inelastic demand and you should not smoke. Now, what else is inelastic? If you look at the technology industry, something like Apple, I'm a big fan of Apple. My husband has got this super expensive Samsung phone with this fantastic camera that I take pictures of Anaya with, but I will not switch to Samsung because I'm a fan of Apple. Even though the iPhone 12 Pro has come out and it looks exactly the same and there's not much difference, to be very honest, for a regular user like me, I will still buy it at that expensive price. I'm not going to go and buy the Samsung phone even though there are so many new features. Demand is inelastic there because I'm loyal to Apple. What is an example of where demand is actually elastic? Demand being elastic is for other technology assets. Let's say like a Dell computer. Well, if the price of a Dell computer increases, we have so many other options that we can buy, so we're not gonna buy it. Demand is elastic. Also, let's think of luxury sports cars. If we like them and we wanna buy them, if the price of a Porsche increases considerably, because we have alternative options in that range also, we're gonna go and buy those. So those are examples of where demand is elastic. Elastic means that if price goes up or down, demand is also gonna go up or down. Inelastic means that if price goes up or down, demand is going to stay relatively the same. And you saw how I calculated it. So that's the price elasticity of demand and I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe and click on that notifications button. Bye guys.